uh, sitting on the dock of the bay, uh, eBay in the day away. <laughs> eBay the day away. I saw that comment a while back in the comment section. I stole that from you if you're watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's a catchy little jingle. Skip the line. Your post office may have one of these now. Check this out. I really enjoy this. Prepaid label. I don't have a prepaid label for this one. I can actually do that here too. Watch, watch this. Read that little message. Check this out. Watch this. This is fancy schmancy. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Accepting scan action. What do you think about that? <laughs> so, I can actually mail from here as well. I don't have a prepaid label on this one. So this is something someone bought straight out of my video through the PayPal link if you're ever interested in the future to do so. The directions are down in the description. You can do this at night time as well. You can come here at 2 or 3 in the morning and do this if you want. So the acceptance scan isn't an official acceptance scan. The official one doesn't actually happen until a post office employee does it. but but it does count it does show that you've that you've scanned it it's not a, it's not an official acceptance scan you turn your head don't look appreciate that Sitting on the dock of the bay, eBay in the day away. I figured I'd save one dollar by driving across town during rush hour to come over here to the UPS store. So that was brilliant. <laughs> no line here, don't check it out. Check it out. Got official acceptance scan on that one. With that kiosk at the post office, they usually uh, have the official scan in by like about 6, 7, 8 p.m. It's a little windy out here. I don't want you to miss my beautiful singing voice. Oh, sitting on the dock of the bay. Get my turtle some fish while I'm here today. Sitting on the dock of the bay. What's up, Turtle? Hi, everybody. I don't know if you know or not, but I'm a turtle. in my vid vulture filing system back in the day it was extremely important to hang on to your receipts for tracking number purposes ebay's got it figured out finally it would appear tracking numbers come free i just kind of save them in this trash bin here all righty ebay folks let's get to the show finally starting at november 1st start out with the hoka ladies running shoes these running shoes sell like hotcakes. These sold immediately. 
I sell everything, uh, almost everything on auction. Only one of these sales you're going to see was fixed price. But these running shoes, I started out. I had a whole tote for, the, for these sitting with the lid on them in my living room. You can see these are nice quality shoes. If you watch my videos, I find these shoes quite often. There's kind of different categories. Uh, these ones here are basically great condition. They're the ones I try to sell on eBay. And then I have the free sale, the old free tail store, which is now the free curb to free sale sale. That's kind of close to these, but not quite, right? That's stuff I can't sell for good money on eBay. and But they're nice shoes, right? So, and then there's the, below that's the, just the nasty ones that are worn out. But $48 on that Hoka pair. Third, this is plus shipping, plus $9.99 shipping. It's pink Nikes, $13, $9.99 shipping. Brooks, $25, $9.99 shipping. So that gives you an idea, I suppose, if you see running shoes in like a Goodwill or your thrift store or wherever you see them, they sell. And I, I mean, mind you, these were five-day auctions. These are five-day auctions starting out. And uh, almost all, almost everything you see here is going to be five-day auction until I get to the end where I started going seven days. Hotcakes. Sell like hotcakes. Running shoes. Men's and ladies. Here's a recent video. I found this. It was a sealed... Uh, external drive an, an older one it's like about 20 years old or so i think it was 1999 or the year 2000 it was made and it was sealed in cellophane i told about it being a collector's item stuff like this stuff like this folks could be extremely valuable like 20 30 40 50 years from now right this is the kind of stuff that sits in an attic and then someone discovers it and sells it on ebay for twenty thousand dollars in 50 years right this classic uh, basically first step stepping stone computer stuff uh, it's, it's gonna be super valuable unfortunately those of you listening right now it'll probably be basically when we're real old or have passed away but if you want to save something for your, something weird for your grandkids man there it is right this kind of stuff sealed in cellophane so uh, let's move on here I got I had a little drawer with uh, calculators I had these text been collecting these Texas Instruments calculators. It's a TI-84 Plus graphing calculator, $56. Uh, I went free shipping on that one, but that was super cheap, right? First class, like five bucks. Sony Alpha digital SLR camera. I didn't have the battery for this, so uh, I wasn't sure if it actually worked. I think that was the case. I don't want to get too blabber face here and bore you people. $40 free shipping. Little Samsung USB portable DVD writer. This has some age to it as well. Five fifty two, seven dollars shipping. Little eight gigabyte Lexar memory card. This is the bigger ones. These, it's not the mini SD. It's the the, stand, the older ones, standard size. Uh, two twenty five plus three dollars shipping. I should have lotted these two together. Right, L learn, live and learn lesson here. Uh, the shipping kind of ate away into my profit on these. I should have listed them together. So I only paid shipping once, right? Auction, they would have sold like for six or seven plus three shipping. And I only would have paid out of my pocket shipping once, but instead I paid the shipping twice. So lotting stuff up, similar items. Fujifilm, I found this camera. No, wait, uh, actually, I think this Sony one did work. Um, it was this Fujifilm one I didn't have the battery for. Or no, the other way around. That was right. I didn't have the battery for the Sony. This one... I have the battery, but I wasn't exactly sure how to operate it, so I just sold it for parts to repair. But it still went for a really nice price, right? This Fuji film, it's not that great of a camera. I still sold for twenty two dollars fifty cents plus ten dollars shipping, and uh, it's it's a nice camera. Don't get me wrong, but it's 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 got some age to it. Another Texas Instruments calculator. This is the TI eighty three plus sixteen fifty plus five dollars shipping. Anytime you see a Texas Instrument instruments calculator you want to check it out there's tons of different models but it's the graphing calculators right the higher level mathematics ones that are always going to be worth money and they're almost always working and they take uh double a batteries triple a batteries something like that i think it's triple a triple a batteries yeah triple a batteries uh three of them three triple a batteries okay another memory stick another well not another uh 
a memory stick. This is different than the memory cards. This is, I think, came out of. Oh, this is the one where I. Uh, this is my only uh, fixed price sell. Everything else is auction. You see here. I had this one at auction. It was for a higher price because this is a little more valuable than what I sold it for. But it wasn't selling, and a guy came in at the last minute and says, if it doesn't sell at auction, I'll give you $5. And I said, all right. Auction ended. I listed it for him, $5. And I, I only made like a dollar when it was all said and done, dollar fifty, whatever it was. I think that was originally for like uh, older vi like video cameras, camcorders. After the VHS tape camcorders, I think this is – that's memory stick for one of those. Okay, an expired ink cartridge is still sealed, still sealed in its factory packaging. But expired ink sells good on eBay as long as you just tell people it's, that it's expired and they know about it, right? And maybe you say if there's a problem, you know, I'll, I'll, you can, I'll refund your money or you know, uh, free returns, right? You don't want people scamming you. Uh, don't say you'll refund their money, but <laughs> say you'll accept free returns and then refund their money. So when it returns to you, then you, then you refund their money. That's that helps get rid of scammers. Um, you know, blunt, blunt, cold calling scammers, uh, just kind of t try to twist your arm. Uh, so 1061 plus $3 shipping. That's an HP 901 tricolor. There's also an HP 901 XL black cartridge in here. I kind of, kind of gooned that goon ball that uh gallery picture there but there's the other one i didn't want to go back i was <laughs> sitting at my desk i didn't want to go back and take more pictures so i just added it there it is to those two right there okay here's another one expired this is a different kind of cartridge this is for a, an old canon pixma uh 50 cents three dollars shipping i think i might have actually lost a few cents on this sale <laughs> but i guess i'm padding my email email Padding my eBay stats, I guess, is one way to look at it. If you had a reason to do that, which you don't really. I'm supposed to be a power seller. But, uh, okay, moving on. Uh, sealed, factory sealed SanDisk Extreme 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, now, on this one, had I known that it wasn't going to sell, I'm surprised it didn't sell for more on auction. Uh, I would have liked to just kept this one for myself had I known I was only going to get four dollars twenty five cents plus three shipping, so I only made a couple dollars there. I used thirty two gigabyte and sixty four gigabyte micro SD cards in my GoPros. So had I known, I would have just kept this one for myself. I'll probably find myself at Walmart one day, sitting in an aisle looking, <laughs> looking at these and buying one, and go, hey, I remember that one I sold for four dollars and twenty five cents. So, uh, okay, here's a size uh, New Balance running shoes, men's size 13D. Sometimes when they're real big, they don't sell as good as like size 9 or 10. But these actually got uh, multiple bidders bidding back and forth. $17.50 plus $10 shipping. And these sold right away. Every one of these running shoes, it's almost, you know, not, I don't want to say instantly, but right, right shortly after I listed in an auction. Boom, bidder come in, boom, right? So these running shoes are hot. These calculators are hot. Here's another Texas Instruments. This is the TI-89 Titanium Platinum grapher, Graphing Calculator. $17 and $6.87 shipping. Here we have a Jean LaFont reading glass, reading glasses, and a Vera Bradley reading glass case. A lot of them up together. $7.78 shipping, $3.59. Uh, $7.78 plus 359 shipping. Here's an old RS Touchstone cable modem. It was new factory sealed. I figured this might go for more. I only went for $4 uh, plus $8 shipping. Here's a pair of uh, skateboarder shoes. DC Spartan High, blue silver. $878 plus $10 shipping. Here's some uh, Razorback cornhole bags. I had, I had sold the uh, cornhole games, the game itself, the two big boards. Have you ever seen these, like at football tailgaters and stuff? I sold them on Craigslist, and I had these in storage and didn't know where they were at, and so <laughs> I sold them separately. Cost myself some money there, but uh, three dollars, twelve, uh, twelve eighty-seven shipping. I didn't make a whole lot on those because they're heavy. But a uh, set of five brass T uh, Demitas spoons, made in Thailand, ninety-eight cents. Only got one bid. 
648 shipping. Here's a cool little Coleman tactical LED flashlight I had laying around. $10.49 plus $9 shipping. I was tempted to keep this for myself as well. I went out and tested it walking with my dog, and it's, it's almost got a laser beam quality to it. The beam goes for a long ways, but I really don't have a need for it. I've got flashlights, and I'm just getting, just getting rid of stuff. And here's a, a Voyager KA500 Solar and Crank, Solar and Crank Multi-Band Alert Radio Phone Charger Emergency Device Weather Radio. So this is like a backup, right? You have this laying in your closet. You can sit there and crank it and listen to the radio. These are old. These are like 20 years old. I sold two of these. Another one bought, another, someone else bought the other one out of my video. And uh, they said they haven't been able to get the solar panel to work. But this is this is old. These are like 20 years old, I think. They're brand new. But uh, I, I tested them out with the crank. And if you sit there and crank, you can listen to the radio. And uh, that's the main the main point of having these, right? But uh, the solar panel is probably old technology is the point I'm getting to. So uh, anyways, the crank works. And if you get, if there's a hurricane or a disaster, you're, it's okay. You're, <laughs> you're willing to crank it. Uh, $27.71 plus $10 shipping. I, on this, I put a note saying if there's any problem whatsoever, you can, you know, free return it. Test it out if you have a problem. Uh, you can return it if you're not happy. Some old uh, Nikon view uh, reference manuals for a Nikon camera a little disc and a user manual sometimes I try to sell stuff like this it doesn't really sell some of this can be real valuable and some not so much this is probably more of a fixed type listing you want to sell but uh, 299 shipping or 299 plus 299 shipping here's a, a Sony a Sony camera battery charger 299 plus 299 shipping here's another pair of shoes Nike zoom 2000. 2K triple black. These shoes, like I said a few times now, just if you get if you find a nice pair of shoes, man, they will sell instantly on eBay. I would say don't be scared to eat, auction them off. You could probably fix price and hold off for a better price if you want. But if you want if you want money right now, if you want to sell right now, 1050 plus 13 shipping. Here's another pair of shoes. I don't think these were ever used. These were basically new. Supra size 10, 550 plus 14 shipping. Here's a pair of Under Armour. Men's running shoes, $16.50, $14 shipping. There's a nice set of Black & Decker wood boring spade drill bits, $8.19 plus $10 shipping. So I kind of got the idea, right? Here's two more SD memory cards, loaded them up, $5.50 plus four shipping. So let's see, see what I did there. Made a little more money. Looking back, I should I should have loaded all four of them up, but uh, here's a universal Cox remote control. It only got one bid. I thought it would go for more, so I didn't make very much on that. Five shipping. Here's a, a motocross helmet. It was a, a size small. Size small adult helmets aren't all that great to sell on auction, particularly, but it went for $6 and $18 shipping. Okay, here's the gem of the show. For those of you watching, this is a Bell M3 Pro Series Racing F1. That's Formula One auto racing helmet. This is from Jack Shoemaker's go-kart team. Jack Shoemaker was one of the founders. Uh, built Walmart with the founder, Walton. He, this Jack Shoemaker guy was instrumental. He's probably basically the real main reason why, auto, uh, why uh, Walmart became what it became. If you want to Google and check that story out. What I didn't realize here, I listed it, and I thought maybe I'd get $100, $200 because it's a collector's item linked to the builder of Walmart. What I didn't realize is the F1 helmet, the Bell M3 Pro Series, is collectible in its own right. It's 1995 era, so it's 26 years old. And I made a video about this, and it sold for over $700 to a guy in Arkansas that never paid me. So... I relisted it on auction, and uh, it only got bid up to 481 plus $20 shipping the second time around. And the funny thing is, this this guy here that won it, he, he actually offered me $700. <laughs> he actually offered me $700, and I had this auction go on and let the auction finish, and he this guy snuck in here and got it for $200 less. But anyways, that's the gem of the show. 
that is the drawback. The one drawback of auctions is if someone doesn't pay, right? I like auctions because you, you get to control when things sell and when you get the money, right? And uh, But there is one drawback when someone doesn't pay. You got to start the auction over and and then other people that bid before might come back and look at it again and be like, oh, is there something wrong with this, right? Is this a scammer sale or something, right? Why didn't you sell it, right? So <laughs> uh, there is that one drawback of auctions when they don't pay. This guy actually lived in Canada, and he has a, he's an auto racing helmet collector. He said he has a collection of over 40. So he's going to be happy with this. This is probably a $1,000 helmet. If not now, it will be in the coming years. Um, just the just almost museum quality, right? The helmet itself is very valuable. They're listed on eBay for like seven hundred to a thousand fixed price, and then you throw in the dude that basically made Walmart what it is, or, or helped make Walmart what it is. So that's nice. That's a nice helmet. Let's let's have a shot at this real quick. Let me show you the. Let me show you this dog. There it is right there. See, it's got, his, it's got his name on the bottom, Jack Schumacher, Jack's Racing. The helmet's in great quality. It had one, one scuff up here on the very top, but it's super clean, super clean, super nice. All right, Planters Peanut Company. I originally sold this out of one of my videos, but I think it was someone in Canada that bought it, and they didn't send me nearly enough money, so I had to refund their money back to them. I listed it on eBay, $225 plus 13 shipping. These are inkjet cartridges. This is more expired uh, ink cartridges. These are interesting. It was sold for $15 plus $10 shipping. These were interesting because these, these are refurbished. This is a company that takes HP ink cartridges. Like I say all, all the time, I sell them on eBay. I, I take these old ones I find out of printers and just sell the cartridges on eBay because people refill them. So this is it. All these, cart all these cases here are cartridges that have been refilled by this company. These are old HP, except for this one here. That's original HP. But all these other ones you see are, are old HP cartridges that someone has taken and refilled with ink and rebranded and relabeled and reboxed. See that? That's why, that's why you see me in my videos when I take them out of the printers. That's what I'm talking about. This is probably someone that would buy my empty ones or half full ones on eBay, right? So I found a whole bag of these and they're expired and someone bought them, snatched them up. Expired ink tanks sell well. Just be upfront with the people and put it in your listing. These are expired and give them the date. And uh, here's some uh, broken Xbox One and uh, video game controllers, Xbox 360. And a dollar. I didn't get as much as I thought. These usually sell for more, but 14 shipping. Here's another uh, little memory card. This is a little different. This is an older one for old cameras. This is actually the 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 uh, card that I took out of that Fujifilm camera. I sold them separately. Five seventy five plus five dollars shipping. These are valuable. These are probably more valuable than what I what I went for an auction. This would be more of a fixed priced item to get the most money. Um, you know, it's not super high demand, right? When you auction stuff off, you want it to be high demand, sell now. So so I was just basically getting rid of stuff, right? I'm swamped with stuff. And this is basically all stuff that's sitting in my living room of my apartment, <laughs> almost at arm's length, right? And in my desk drawers and stuff. So I'm, just, I'm getting rid of it. And our old friend, uh, Crypto Market, sent me for a loop. Uh, I mean, it, I was just stupid. But... Uh, so I'm trying. I just try to want to get some money together, and uh, that's another story. I have a I have a Bitcoin Street channel. If you want to go down the description to my Bitcoin Street channels in the description below, and in the comment section below, there's a link there to my other channel. If you want to go check it out, there's a real exciting time coming up in crypto. It's the time where the public gets bored and stops paying attention to it. It's kind of a bear market, right? That's where you're supposed to buy when no one's talking about it and it's boring. And it's lame and boring, right? The public gets hyped into it when it's super high price on a on a on a hype pump, right? And the public gets burned over and over. So all the hype's about to die out, and the good time to buy is coming in. So come over. I'll be talking about that over on my other channel if you want to check it out. Okay, here's a, a lot of 13 uh, desktop switches, TP-Link 
switches. Um, these these didn't sell for nearly what I thought they would. Ninety eight cents plus fifteen shipping. Puma black sneakers, size eleven, twelve dollars, thirteen shipping. Nike Vista Light black lemon venom venom twenty twenty women's running shoes, twenty dollars, twelve dollars shipping. Some of you may remember this uh, Athena Award, this bronze sculpture that I found. There was one listed on eBay for like like six seven hundred dollars, right? And uh, I tried to sell this for more, and on like the second, third, fourth go around to auction, I put it down at forty nine eighty seven, twenty two shipping, and someone finally came in and bought it. I don't know if I could have got more out of there. I, I don't know. So uh, I don't know. Maybe that was a fixed price item, but. Maybe one day I'll get back into having an eBay store and doing the fixed price stuff. But I just like, I just really like the auctions because the people get to decide what they want to pay for it. And here's another pair of shoes, Bellano men's Oxford shoes, $5, $10 shipping. Okay. I started digging into my fishing, my fishing gear here an old Mitchell spinning, uh, open face spinning reel. This was actually before they were called Mitchell. It's a cap 304. $10, 28 cents plus 12 47 shipping. Here's a lot of, a lot of three fishing reels. The red one here is, is kind of broken. So I just threw it in for free. Put that in the listing right in the description. I describe things really good. So there's no confusion. $10 plus 13 50 shipping. Here's a vintage head on Scandia Mark. This was, this one's made in Sweden. Nine seventy five plus twelve fifty seven shipping. Um, this is actually from the 1960s, so that has some age to it. Here's a little Microsoft Windows 98. I kind of thought this would go for more, but like you know, this is 23 years old. Like I was talking about before, watch out. This was actually some of it was sealed, but watch out for vintage computer. You know, you know. I mean, we live in the start of the computer age, so watch out for the stuff that's sealed. If you want to hold on to it for decades. That's going. That's probably going to happen, right? Like a, a sealed factory sealed Windows ninety eight kit. It's probably going to be super, or like a Windows ninety five or whatever the original ones were, sealed factory sealed in its original seal. It's probably going to be super valuable, right? <laughs> Imagine, right? Imagine if you had a, a a model a Model T Ford that Henry Ford built, you know, from a hundred years ago. And there's, you know, had zero miles, right? And it was, <laughs> it was perfect condition, right? Imagine how much that's worth now. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. Just keep that in mind. Here's a, a some fishing lures, some soft plastic baits. For those of you interested in my, my fishing stuff, I'm gonna and uh, well, I shouldn't say I'm going. To, I keep saying I'm going to, and then I don't. I may be. I would like to wait till spring. So never mind. Three twenty eight plus uh, seventeen shipping some bags of uh, soft plastic baits here's some more expired ink this was like expired in 2008 right and only got one bid a penny for eight dollars shipping so i made like a dollar or two on it here's some more broken video game controllers sony ps3 five dollars 15 shipping here's some fishing beads uh these aren't really all that great so but 98 cents 1257 they're like artificial uh like kind of like fish eggs, uh, beads they put like on their spin rigs and stuff like that. Uh, here's a lot of 10 vintage fishing reels. These are all, uh, a couple of them work. I, I sold these in parts and not working. Most of them have a problem. I just described them really well. This is something that will sell instantly at auction, $20.50 plus $20 shipping. Uh, the, a lot of these reels in here are from uh, the same era as these these. This one, this Mitchell, and this uh, head on, you know, like the 1960s. So, uh, here's a lot of uh, another, some more fishing lures, soft plastic baits and stuff. Uh, 750 plus uh, 1687 shipping. And that wraps it up, folks. I hope I didn't blabber too long and bore you talking about this stuff, but hopefully, this is good information. I mean, basically, anything that's that's going to be in demand is auctionable on ebay i just like getting rid of stuff once upon a time i had the ebay store where i had tons of stuff and then i got banned from ebay for like six years 
if anyone out there remembers those days when eBay was just annihilating their sellers, right? For no reason. <laughs> they took the power of feedback away from their sellers. You couldn't give negative feedback at all in any way. You couldn't even report a scammer. And uh, so, well, when was that? That was like 2010, 2009, 2010. It was just eBay just turned into a cesspool of sharks and scammers. Right? You'd sell something and they'd email you back and they'd say, Oh, well, a piece of tape got stuck to, to the item and and I want half my money back. Right. And you'd be like, What do you mean a piece of tape? A piece of tape from the box. When I opened the box, a piece of the tape got stuck on the item and a, and a, and this and, and it was just bad. <laughs> and just the stupid stuff, just unbelievable stuff. And there was nothing you could do. It just turned into a cascade, almost like 20, 30% of the sales just turned into that. I don't know what was going on, but uh, you could probably Google that and look back at those days. Apparently, eBay has, has fixed that problem somehow. It was just terrible. Scammer buyers were annihilating legitimate sellers, and eBay's eBay's idea to fix a problem was just to ban the seller. <laughs> and they were banning power sellers, right? Power sellers. Some of their best sellers are just getting rid of them. eBay's gotten a lot better. If you haven't been on eBay for a while, I want to show you this real quick. They've definitely gotten better. I mean, they used to charge like fees for like an extra picture. They charge you like third, you know, 10 cents or whatever it was, right? <laughs> they had just, they're just, 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 uh, just, destroying their sellers with fees and they were jerking their fees up and for extra pictures you paid a fee and for this you had to pay a fee and for that you had to pay a fee and i think the selling fees were up like 30 percent you know back in those days and, but i want to show you this look at the, look at what they've done here why it took them 20 years to do something like this i don't know but you can take like a terrible picture and they got this little enhancement here see this boom see see that i don't want to I mean, i've already enhanced it so i don't want to do it but uh See that, right? Cancel that. See, see, hit. you can make your pictures better. See this? Watch this. Boom. See how you see that? And then they got the, uh, that's the enhancement. It takes out like the shadows and it brightens up the stuff. And then you can sharpen it. Like, see that? It's kind of blurry, right? Sharpen it. You can sharpen it. Look at it. That's wonderful. Boom. See how it's working? And then they got, uh, they got, they got, uh, they got this, right? You can, you can brighten it, darken it. Right, it's, it's, this is a legitimate editor, right? This is like how I make my YouTube videos. I can do different things, right? So this is a legitimate editor, right on the eBay platform. Why it took them 25 years to do this, I don't know, right? You can, if, if your camera takes a picture sideways or upside down, you can, right? Boom, and then look at this. You can crop it. Look at this. You can crop it. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. You crop it. Boom eBay should have had this a long time ago, right? eBay probably could have been one the most powerful company on the planet, in my opinion. I don't know. I just don't understand the things they were doing, man. They just dropped the ball. But uh, anyways, see, boom, right? Boom. Watch this. Boom. See that? Cropped it. Look at that. Boom. That can enhance it. Boom. Now, of course, that's too bright, but I'm just doing this for... For sure, right? If you haven't been on eBay for a while, you might want to go back and check it out. They're they're a lot better than they used to be. All right, they get free tracking numbers for everything. Everything you sell has a tracking number now, and uh, it's just built right in. So, okay, let's end it there. I sure hope you enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching.